Hello friends, Jennifer Pearson here, Thistle Gypsy, with a review of the Mystical Cats Tarot deck. So, I've been kind of on hold using this deck because I wanted to do this review and I wanted to keep the cards here in order. So, here we are. Let's do it. Um, because I want to use it for my equinox, my fall equinox reading. All right, so we have a, a fairly chunky, nice guidebook, and I am reading it and thoroughly enjoying it. Very enjoyable. And I think with this guidebook, this could be a starter deck for somebody, um, particularly if they're overwhelmed by all of the symbolism or in the, in the Rider weight, or they can't relate to the archaic images in the Rider weight, uh, because they do just a really lovely job here. Um, so they talk about the structure of the deck, major arcana. Um, they actually give, because there are some differences, they give the traditional Rider weight for the major arcana, and then they give their cat, okay, the cat deck. Um, acknowledgement, and they acknowledge the kitties who contributed. Um, minor arcana, again, they provide the, and you know what, let me change something here about, so that you can actually read this. It makes it more difficult for me in terms of positioning but it makes things readable for you. So let me change this image orientation for now. All right, so this should be, see, <laughs> I, I have a hard time. Um, but it shows the wands are fire clan, cups are sea clan, swords are sky clan, pentacles are earth clan. So they've, they've created kitty clans. Now would I have done that? No, but that's okay. And then it talks here about what they did with the court cards, uh, which you will see. I'll do a walkthrough of the whole deck here, um, which they have kitten. What do they have? I just saw it. My eyes were just resting on it. Well, they have queen and king, kitten and tom, I guess it is. Yeah. And um, mixing the cards, so shuffling or mixing as in just mushing them around on a table. Um, it says to learn more about court cards, I recommend Mary Greer's book. Okay, so um, I guess it's Mary Greer and Tom Little. So they do refer to others, and I don't know if they have a reference. Do they have a reference section in the back? Nope. The care and feeding of your deck, very cute, about reversals, so it just talks about reversals, whether you want them or not. So it's brief, but it, um, it serves the purpose. I think somebody could use this as a starter deck. Another thing, I'm going to back this up. Oh, nope, that's the opposite of what I wanted to do. Here we go. Um, yeah. So you have a full page, but black and white, of each of the cards. And then you have um, a general write-up about the card at the top. Then you have more, you know, the divination meaning, and then you have a reversed meaning. And I'm liking her take on reversals throughout this, which is pretty uncommon for me. I can be a little snarky about um, how people say the card should be interpreted reversed. I often just pitch that. Um, but she doesn't go to extremes here, and I like her interpretations. These sections up here are quite um, cute and, and applicable because they take the position of being a member of the kitty clan, um, the cat clan. So let's look at the hanged man here. So it has, this cat has achieved two, true freedom of spirit and the perfect peace of detachment, so much that she has detached from gra gravity itself and floats dreamily among the sacred morning glories of illumination. Some of them have uh, meaningful plants in them and some of them don't. Um, yeah. 
That one doesn't do, you know, Kat's advice, let go of your preconceived ideas of what is possible. So, you know, this is, morning glories are a symbol of mind expansion, and like the cat, all you need is a willingness to be amazed. Reverse, the floating cat reversed has much the same meaning as when the card is upright, but with the added cautionary note that manifesting your imagination and inspiration in your everyday life may prove challenging on your own to help reinfor uh, reinforce your expanded vision of what is possible, find others who share your desire for expanded thinking. So there you go. Um, so here, this one is quite different from your normal. This would be the um, Ten of Wands. It says, the Fire Cat Council, known as the Nine, <laughs> has lost control of the fire. And of course, nine being symbolic of the nine lives, right? Too much energy is, was channeled at once, and the resulting burst of power is too hot for the cats to handle. So, you know, some of them are quite cute that way. All right, so... And it does stick largely to the Rider Waite Smith meaning, and I, I just feel that they even add to it in various ways here. So, let's look at the deck. This is the backing, obviously completely reversible. Um, so let's look at the cards. Uh, let me, at this point, zoom in a tad. I'll just zoom in a tad. So here we have glare. <laughs> here we have glare. All right, so we have the fool. Can I get it to focus? It wants to focus there. There we go, now it'll focus a little bit. So this is still in order, so we have the Major Arcana here, Cat Magic, the Priestess, and it, it, this it seems like a weird Priestess card, but from what they say in the guidebook, it makes some sense. The Kitty Cave, I love the Empress, Emperor, Emperor is a little bit static. The Priest, she makes use of um, certainly the Egyptian reference, references to cats or ideas about cats, mythology around cats. And I forgot to show you, but in the back of the guidebook, and hopefully I'll remember that at the end of the walkthrough here, at the back of the guidebook, um, they do have some spreads. They're not, you know, mind-altering spreads, but they do have some spreads. Okay. The chariot the strength. Um, so I think this is a great strength card. You know, there are always things in a deck for me. It's like, but Great Danes, Harlequin Great Danes. For the, now, the Harlequin aspect I can see, but Great Danes, I don't know. Why not horses? Cats and horses get along. Um, the Hermit, and again, here we have pomegranates. So there are some symbolic um flowers and trees. The wheel, wheel of fortune, of course. Um, consequences for justice. The floating cat for hanged man. Death is death. And I love that card. It makes me sad, but I love it. Um, grace instead of temperance, which I'm not so much into that, but you know, it's okay. I can live it. The demon cat, I think it's unfortunate that a black cat was chosen for this just because I'm in the United States and I know that the stigma behind black cats means that they're less likely to be adopted, etc. And so I wish they'd have just chosen a different color for the demon cat. Um, you know, an orange cat, considering the color that is often depicted for the devil, would have been more appropriate, I think. Um, but, again, reading the guidebook, this makes total sense in terms of, like, the thorns in the background, you know, playing with the, with the bird. Um, the tower, this is amusing, but yes, very traditional. Stars, moon. Um, so, again, this is, this is not so traditional. But, I, you know, I think they're a worthwhile perspective. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to use them in my um, Equinox reading that I'm going to do here this weekend. It won't come out till the Equinox, but I'll do it this weekend. The Sun, which I think is great. 
good kitty instead of judgment. Um, in the guidebook, it says something about, you know, cats don't judge. But to me, judgment isn't really not that much about judgment. So, but anyway, um, the world, ace of fire. So some of these are like, yeah. I don't like their aces, but I can live with it. Two of fire, three of fire, that. Four of fire, chasing rainbows here. Um, five of fire, six of fire, so six of wands, and I love that. Bringing, you know, the way cats will bring dead things to share with you. <laughs> okay. Honoring, honoring by bringing this cat things. Six of fire, okay, seven of fire, cat fights. I, I love this. This is part of the reason I got. I normally don't particularly like the eight of wands. It's such a, I don't know, dull card to me. It doesn't really show a situation with just the eight wands fun, flying around. So I love the cat that's peeling out because cats do love to peel out every now and then. Nine of Fire, um, again, has a different meaning completely in this deck because it's they're using the Council of Cats there. Um, Ten of Fire, we visited in the guidebook. Fire Kitten, okay, so this would be similar to the Page of Wands. Fire Tom, I think that's a great depiction of the Knight of Wands. Fire Queen, um, it's okay. You know, the court cards are hard to do well because they really weren't originally done very well. <laughs> they, were always, they were really static images. Fire King. Ace of C. Two of C. And this the whole C suit is a stretch for me. Cats really, despite what they say in the guidebook, most cat the tiger and I guess the jaguar are the only two felines that I can think of that really enjoy water. Um... So your, your regular domestic house cat, I think of is quite water avoidant. So, um, okay, three of C, four of C, five of C, my dogs are on a rampage here, six of C, and again, they <laughs> show cats swimming. Most cats would not be happily swimming. Um, Seven of C, that makes a lot of sense. Um, eight of C, nine of C, sweet. Um, although it's kind of more like the seven of cups, really, but that's all right. Ten of C, C kitten, C tom. Um, C Queen, C King, Ace of Sky, Two of Sky, and this one's quite amusing with the cats just tipping things over to see what happens. Three of Sky, uh, you know that that is so cat-like. <laughs> my my cats come in here and do this in my table, to, my tarot table here. Yeah. Um, four of Sky, Five of Sky. This is interesting in that it takes on the connotation of sort of scapegoating, so very different, and, and actually sort of more contemporary aspect to the card, so I like that. Six of Sky, Seven of Sky, um, and I like this. It really, again, is a different take on the card in the sense that this is a cat who's making use of an opportunity this cat is distracted by the birds, and so this cat steals the mouse that the other one had caught. So instead of a necessarily a stealthy, it's like the other people <coughs> are distracted and not paying attention, so I'm going to take advantage of it. So it's more opportunity-oriented to me. Um, eight of Sky being trapped there. Um, nine of Sky, yeah, yes, the horrible dreams. Ten of Sky, um, 
so in this case, it's not, well, it looks like the cat's being stoned or having sticks thrown at it. Um, again, so sad. I have a hard time with these really sad cards with the cats. Um, it kind of cornered there. Sky Kitten. Sky Tom. Sky Queen. Sky King. I like that they have a winter scene. Oh. It would be nice if they had more winter scenes. Ace of Earth. Two of Earth. Three of Earth. Four of Earth. <laughs> kind of amusing there. It's like all of the cat toys <laughs> gathered together. Um, five of Earth. Six of Earth. Seven of Earth. Eight of Earth. And I do, I love that also. Nine of Earth, Ten of Earth, Let me get my fingers out of the way, Earth Kitten, Earth Tom, Earth Queen, and Earth King. All right, so there they are. I was going to show you back of the book after all of the card descriptions. So we have spreads. Let me see if I can back this up again. We have the spreads here at the threshold. So here's more cat-oriented. Shield of Sekhmet. And it talks about Sekhmet here, and then it has what, what weakens you, what strengthens you, what can you best, or how can you best use your power. And I love that question, how can you best use your power, is um, a neat one. Then we have Council of Tigers here, and they have all of the elements, the um, Asian elements, wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. What is increasing? what requires energy, what holds it together, what is diminishing, what is hidden. And then we have the nine lives, and I'm not going to read all of those. But I think the idea of a nine lives, and I like how they have the um, phases of the moon up here, but I don't particularly like the questions here, but that's okay. You know, it, it, it's just introducing. To me, this is just introducing the idea of using the nine as um, as a way to lay out a spread and a way of looking at you know what are your nine lives if you were to create a spread a nine life spread what what would you see as your nine lives and then it has an interesting appendix here that are sketches from the artist that are slightly different from the finished card so this, that's and that's the ending some sketches so that you can see kind of the the work in progress and that's the end of it um, anything else I think that's pretty much it um, so yeah I I would recommend to anyone to get this deck I think I'm going to thoroughly enjoy using it thoroughly enjoy using it and I tend to start using it immediately <laughs> I've, I've been wanting to use it and thought no 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 I don't want it out of order for the the walkthrough so um, so there you go this is my way of releasing myself <laughs> so I can start using it um, I will say this actually in the final moment here the cardstock is on the flimsy side um, I hope it holds up to shuffling um, otherwise I will use ways of shuffling that do not bend the cards but since I think this would be an easy deck to use with res reversals, um, the riffle shuffle would be my favorite way to do reversals. In this deck, you could certainly riffle shuffle, but I'm, I'm worried that, that they'll stay warped. But time will tell. 
Alrighty, thanks so much for stopping by, listening, liking, sharing, and all that good stuff. Subscribe if you want to see my monthly and weekly readings. Take care. Bye-bye.